In the previous video, we discussed a um, scope of a relation cache, and we've seen that it exists only for the scope of a specific controller execution. And then we've seen how we can extend that cache by adding the uh, keep cache alive after exe and using the cache and defining the entity in the parent controller. Well, that's all nice and fun, but it's kind of limiting. Yeah? It's a lot of work and it's very sudden in configuration. And B, sometimes I would like a cache that extends further than that. A lot of times I have simple tables, just like shippers, that I would like that they will get loaded once into memory and from that point on, just use that version that was loaded in memory without having to handle it in every controller or to care about the scope or anything else. So let's see how we do that. So first of all, let's start with the basic case. You can see here we have the, the setup for our test. We're going to run it. And we have a child task that was called 100 times. And we can see here that the shippers tables were only accessed with one call every time because we configured it correctly. So let's go ahead and make it bad again. Okay? Let's simplify it by saying, well, we don't want this line. We actually don't want the cache even. We want to create a new child every time just because we, we'd like to be wasteful, and we don't want this way. We just went back to the original view of things. Okay? So when we run this now, we get a lot of turnarounds with the database. For every shipper ID, there's a select statement that goes and gets the shipper ID from the database. So we had 500 calls that actually went down to SQL in this very quick time that we ran. So remember, what we actually want is to load the data once into memory and reuse it from there. So let's go ahead and do that. So a property that exists for a shippers entity or for any entity is called in memory. Okay, in memory means you can choose the specific scope for it. None is the default. Shared means that all the values we get loaded once and live throughout the scope of the process of, of everything. And context is one to be used when you're using web services or web applications. It will be per request. Every request or every thread, if you're using parallel, will load the value once and clear. Okay, so we can choose context or shared. Let's run this and see what have changed. Okay, so now there's actually a new thing that have happened here. You can see that a new SQL statement was introduced, and this SQL statement actually loads the data from the database. Okay, it will go to shippers ID, company name, phone, and sequence, load the entire table from shippers, and from that point onward, manage it in memory. So even though we can see here 100 calls, the underlying code doesn't go to the SQL server. It does it with the memory table that is loaded, with the data set. Okay, so this is a dramatic performance improvement, specifically on weaker network. So by setting the in-memory property here to share, I meant that the shippers entity within this controller will use the in-memory instance of it. Okay? Now, I can set it for a specific controller. For 20 controllers, they will all share the same in-memory table okay, for shippers. I can set it in the a, a entity definition, and it will apply to the entire application. Okay, if I set it here, it will apply to my entire application. Be mindful, it might be a bit dramatic, but it does make sense sometimes if you want to, again, save on little non-important queries to the database. Um, now, the next question that comes up, well, is how do we refresh this data? And the way to refresh the data is to actually delete it. Okay, so here is how we do that. You can say here, well, new models, shippers, and we're going to set the same in-memory setting. That's quite important. And say clear in-memory data. Okay. When we do that, we're going to see that it's going to load the database table 100 times. Because every time in the loop, we clear the in-memory data. Okay. So we can see here that that SQL statement that loads the data into memory was called 100 times. So the data here is still refreshed, but still get loaded only once for this controller. Quick. I hope you enjoyed this, and we like to call this in memory the cache you actually wanted, and hope you like it, let us know.